Hey, what's happening, pen pals? In this video, I'm going to give you a sneak peek at all new Parker pens coming to the goldspot.com shop. Don't be intimidated by the title. There are pens that will start under $30 and will go up to $4,000. Let's have a look. Parker is a brand that has been around since the golden age of fountain pens. It's also one of the first brands featured on the Goldspot website way back in the early 2000s. Yet, we don't talk about Parker that much on this channel because they usually don't release new pens or limited editions often. Well, that changes today. I have three new collections to show you that will become available within the next two to three months. You'll find these pens on the Goldspot website right now so you could sign up for an in-stock notification to receive an email as soon as these pens arrive. Due in late April or early May, these pens have a stealth appearance with a small pop of color present on the cap trim ring. The glossy black PBD metal accents contrast with the satin matte lacquered finish of the stainless steel body. Color options include marine blue, flame orange, and amethyst purple. Only Parker's arrow clip and the Parker logo on the cap band give this pen its distinguished identity. To give you an idea of the size of these pens, here are the dimensions of the Parker IM Vibrant Rings. Pulling off the snap cap of a fountain pen reveals the black PVD finished stainless steel nib. The IM is available in fine or medium point sizes and includes one Parker ink cartridge to start. The pen is compatible with the Parker proprietary converter, which may be purchased separately. The matching rollerball pen writes with a fluid Parker proprietary rollerball cartridge. The click action retractable ballpoint mode uses the common Parker style ballpoint refill. Retail prices for the IM Vibrant Rings start at $36.19 for the ballpoint pen, $48.26 for the rollerball, and $66.07 for the fountain pen. No, I did not make up these prices. I have yet to find any hard evidence, but I suspect it was Clippy, the Microsoft Office Assistant. Anyway, you'll find these pens on sale at a lower price when you check them out on goldspot.com. Just follow the links in the description below. The 51 is an iconic design, first introduced in 1941. It took the world by storm and is still a highly sought after pen design in the vintage market. In 2021, Parker relaunched this classic pen to a modern audience. One year later, Parker builds on its core offering of colors with four new styles. So what's premium about the premium line? Well, the nib is stainless steel and the body is made of solid resin. So that leaves the cap. Yes, the cap is the key difference between this collection and last year's 51 pens with chrome trims. Each premium Parker 51 cap is engraved with a different design to accompany the colored resin barrel. The black pen has a pinstripe engraved cap. Forest Green has a tartan-like grid pattern. Rage Red has a 80s synth wave style design. Lastly, the turquoise pen cap has a 1920s art deco vibe. The engraved stainless steel cap is adorned with a gold Parker arrow clip and cap band impressed with the brand mark, the word France, and the date mark. To give you an idea of the size of these pens, here are the dimensions of the Parker 51. Unscrew the premium cap with one full rotation to reveal the tapered grip section and a hooded stainless steel nib. Like the IM fountain pen, the 51 is available in either fine or medium point sizes and can be refilled using the Parker proprietary cartridges or a converter. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe that the 51 premium fountain pen will include a converter as well as an ink cartridge to start. So besides maintaining a streamlined shape with the rest of the pen, the hooded nib does have a couple of functional advantages. First, the grip section is long and allows you to hold the pen close to the writing surface if you prefer. Second, a hooded nib doesn't need as much depth to submerge into ink in order to fill it. So it's easier for the 51 to fill using ink samples or shallow ink bottles. The matching twist action ballpoint pen writes with the Parker style Quink Flow ballpoint pen cartridge. 
Introduced last year, the core line of Parker 51 fountain pens with a steel cap retailed for $125.78 list price with the 18 karat gold nib styles coming in at $357.71. These premium models with a fancy cap will retail for $183.84 for the steel nib fountain pen and $132.14 for the ballpoint. They will be on sale starting in May. To celebrate the Platinum Jubilee of Queen Elizabeth II, Parker commissioned a special edition sonnet and dual fold design coming in June. 2022 marks 70 years since Elizabeth ascended the throne. She is the first British monarch to reach this milestone. So yes, this is a pretty big milestone and worthy of a special edition pen. Since Parker holds a royal warrant, meaning the company is recognized to have supplied pens to Her Majesty the Queen, it's logical that Parker should go all out with a pen worthy of the occasion. The Queen's Jubilee Sonnet has a barrel lacquered in sapphire blue with an engraved cap made from palladium coated 925 sterling silver, trimmed in 23 karat gold appointments as well. The sapphire blue barrel is inspired by the precious stones of St. Edward's and Imperial State crowns, which, together with the woven engraved cap design, gives a distinctly regal appearance. I, disappointingly so, only have the rollerball as the sample at this time, but this special edition sonnet will also be available as a fountain pen with an 18 karat gold nib and a matching twist action ballpoint pen. The fountain pen's gold nib will have a two-tone design with a commemorative 70th Jubilee stamping unique to this design. Since these are special editions made with sterling silver, these pens are more dearly priced, starting at a retail of $413.64 for the ballpoint, $505.56 for the rollerball, and $637.70 for the fountain pen. See our sale prices and sign up for an in-stock notification when you visit the Goldspot website. So now for the most regal and grand Parker pen of them all, I introduce you to the Dual Fold 2022 Limited Edition Jubilee Fountain Pen. This pen is offered in two versions, a non-numbered special edition and a numbered version limited to 70 pieces made worldwide. Both pens are identical, save for the edition number and the packaging. Here I have the number zero sample of this extraordinary Dual Fold pen. As you can see, the decorative geometric pattern on the Sonnet Jubilee pen is applied to the cylindrical barrel and cap of the dual fold. It is also made of palladium coated 925 sterling silver with gold appointments. On the top cap finial, you'll find a commemorative 70th Jubilee stamping incorporating the Queen's cipher. To give you an impression of the impressive size of this majestic pen, here are the size dimensions of the Parker dual fold. Unscrewing the cap one and three quarters turns reveals the golden tapered grip section and exquisite 18 karat gold nib stamped with St. Edward's crown. The fountain pen fills by Parker's proprietary cartridge or converter, of which I should hope you get both options when purchasing this pen. If you're an American fan of the royal family and would like to celebrate the Queen's birthday parade on the 2nd of June, it just might be cheaper to fly there and spend a week in London than it would be to purchase this special edition pen. The unnumbered special edition dual fold retail price is $4,136, while the 70 piece numbered edition is $4,596. Find out more and sign up for in-stock notifications on this pen and all the Parker pens mentioned in this video by clicking the links in the description below. But before I go, here's a quick nib comparison to show you how the Parker IM 51 and dual fold fountain pens write. I inked each pen with Parker Quink Blue Black. At a 0.35 millimeter line thickness, the IM in fine point is comparable to the Yovo fine line. The Parker 51's fine point has a slightly thicker fine nib at 0.4 millimeters and can be particular about the angle you hold the pen. The dual fold in medium point lays a super wet 0.5 millimeter line width. You can see just how dark the blue black looks compared with the finer point sizes of the IM and 51. While I don't have any other relevant Parker videos you can watch on our channel, I suggest taking a look at another fountain pen with a hooded nib in the Lamy 2000 review here. Also, you can check out a random video that YouTube will recommend right there. 
Subscribe to the Gold Spot Pens channel to keep in touch about all of the latest and greatest in fine writing. Thank you for watching and stay inky, my friends. Take care.